In this lecture, we will study real and complex exponential signals and we will plot their waveforms using MATLAB. We will use MATLAB to plot the waveforms of real and complex exponential signals. MATLAB is a programming language which is used for technical computing. Let's take, let's take the exponential signal xt which is equal to a0 e raised to power st and for simplicity for simplicity let's take a0 equal to 1 so we have xt equal to e raised to power st let's say this is equation number 1 s is a complex number s is a complex number and it is equal to sigma plus j omega where sigma is the real part and omega is the imaginary part so we can write equation 1 we can write equation 1 as xt equal to e raised to power sigma plus j omega t we know the Euler's formula from Euler's formula e raised to power i x is equal to cos x plus i sin x we can represent complex number by i or j in case of mathematics we can simply use i to represent the complex number but in case of electronics we use a small i to represent the ac current so it is good to represent the complex number by j in case of electronics we can also write xt we can also write xt as e raised to power sigma t multiplied with e raised to power j omega t and from Euler's formula from Euler's formula e raised to power j omega t is equal to cos omega t plus j sin omega t so we can write signal x t like this e raised to power sigma t multiplied with cos omega t plus j sin omega t right and depending on the value of omega the angular frequency we have two cases depending on omega we have two cases in case number one omega is equal to zero when omega is equal to zero signal xt is equal to e raised to power sigma t multiplied with inside the bracket cos zero is equal to one plus j sine zero is equal to zero so we have zero as the imaginary part and one as the real part so signal xt is purely real signal e raised to power sigma t and in this case we call signal xt real exponential signal we call signal xt real exponential signal and first we will deal with real exponential signal then we will discuss the complex exponential signal in case of real exponential signal depending on the value of sigma we again have two cases depending on the value of sigma we have two cases in the first case sigma is greater than zero or we can say sigma is positive in the second case sigma is less than zero or we can say sigma is negative in the first case when sigma is positive we have the exponentially rising signal and when sigma is less than zero we have the exponentially decaying signal now we will plot the waveforms for these two conditions using the MATLAB this is the editor window of the MATLAB to open the editor window simply press ctrl plus n I will first plot the waveform of real exponential signal when sigma is positive and the first thing we have to do is to define the range of time t the range is from minus 2 to 2 and the time interval is equal to 0 0.01 so this is how we define the range the next thing is sigma I will represent sigma by sig and as we are considering the case in which sigma is positive we will take any positive number as the value of sigma let's take 2 as the value of sigma after this we will define the function the function is xt I will write only x representing the function the exponential function it is equal to 
e raised to power sigma t so we have exponential inside the bracket sigma multiplied with t so we have defined the function and the next thing is the plot of the function and for this we will use the keyword plot inside the bracket the independent variable will come first time t is the independent variable and after this we will write down the name of function which is x I want the waveform in red color so I will write R inside the single quotes after this I will increase the width or you can say thickness of the plot for this we will use line width line width and the width is 2.5 times after this I will give the title of the plot title of the plot the title is simply is simply the real exponential signal the real exponential signal this is the title of the plot the x-axis the x-axis is the time axis so I will name the x-axis by the keyword x label x label inside the bracket inside the single quote we will write t representing the time or we can write time after this we will label the y axis the y axis is for the function xt so I will write xt inside the single quotes so this is the complete code to plot the waveform of the real exponential signal having the exponential rise now to run this code we will press this run button and this will give us the plot of the real exponential signal you can see on increasing the time the value of signal xt is also increasing so this is the plot when sigma is positive now we will consider the second case when sigma is negative for this we will take sigma 1 which is negative we will take sigma 1 which is negative let's say it is equal to minus 2 after this we will define another function we will define another function x1 which is equal to exponential exponential inside the bracket sigma 1 multiplied with time t so we have two functions function x is the exponentially rising function in which sigma is positive function x1 is the exponentially decaying function in which sigma is negative and I want to plot function x and function x1 together so we will make change in this line of the code I will include the plot of function x1 so we have t comma x1 and I want the color of the plot of function x1 to be green so I will write g now we will save this code and run it we will have the waveform like this the green waveform is the waveform in which the sigma is negative the exponentially decaying signal when time is increasing you can see the value of the function is decreasing the red one is the waveform in which sigma is positive the exponentially rising signal on increasing the time the value of the function is also increasing we can also check the value of the function when time t is equal to 0 when time t is equal to 0 the value of the function is equal to 1 so in both the cases the signal is having the value equal to 1 when time is equal to 0 so this is all for real exponential signals in case of complex exponential signals we will have the 3d plot and the complex exponential signal is much more important as compared to the real exponential signal because in your book you will find the 2d plot but in reality we have the 3d plot in case of complex exponential signals so let's move to the case number two in which omega is not equal to zero in case number two omega the angular frequency is not equal to zero now depending on the value of sigma we have three cases we have three cases depending on the value of sigma in the first case when sigma is equal to zero signal xt signal xt is equal to 
cos omega t plus j sin omega t and in this case we simply have the sinusoidal wave form in the second case when sigma is greater than 0 signal xt is equal to e raised to power sigma t inside the bracket cos omega t plus j sin omega t and when you plot the wave form you will find it is exponentially rising but the plot is 3d the real part the real part of signal xt is equal to e raised to power sigma t multiplied with cos omega t and the imaginary part of signal xt is equal to e raised to power sigma t multiplied with sin omega t when you plot the real part and the imaginary part both are 2d plots but when you plot signal xt you will have the 3d plot i will show you the plot using the matlab in the third case when sigma is less than zero this means sigma is negative we have the exponentially decaying signal the expression of real part and imaginary part will remain same the only difference is that sigma is negative now let's see the plot in case number one when sigma is equal to zero the real part is equal to cos omega t and the imaginary part is equal to sin omega t the plot of real part is 2d obviously the plot of imaginary part is also 2d but the plot of signal xt is 3d the three dimensional green plot is the plot of signal xt when sigma is equal to 0 the two dimensional magenta plot is the plot of real part of signal xt and this two dimensional red plot is the plot of imaginary part of signal xt now pause the video and try to analyze this waveforms with respect to time you can also rotate the plot in your books you will find the sinusoidal plot because in 2d you can represent this 3d plot the green plot like a sinusoid you can see it is like a sinusoid so this is all for the case number one when sigma is equal to zero now i will show the plot when sigma is greater than zero sigma is positive we will have the exponentially rising plot the green plot is the plot of signal xt when sigma is greater than zero you can see we have we have the exponentially rising plot if you see the green plot when time t is increasing this is zero and when time t is increasing you can see the plot is also rising exponentially the plot is 3d plot when you see the plot of imaginary part it is also rising exponentially it is a 2d plot and when you see the plot of real part the magenta plot it is also rising exponentially so this is the plot when sigma is greater than zero in your books you will find the 2d plot like this let me show you the plot you will find in your books you will find the plot like this exponentially rising plot because in 2d you can represent this 3d plot like this now we will move to the third case and the last case when sigma is negative it is less than zero we already know when sigma is negative we have exponentially decaying signal if you see the plot of signal xt you will find it is exponentially decaying this is zero and when time is increasing this signal is decaying exponentially if you see the plot of imaginary part it is also decaying exponentially the plot of real part is also decaying exponentially in your books you will find the plot like this the exponentially decaying plot so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one